Hey everybody, it is Spiritual Key. Ooh, bitch, why is it? Okay, it's Spiritual Key back at the reading hall. Okay, and we are doing Sabrina Car Carpenter. Car 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 <laughs> Anyways, and a Daylin. Is it Daylin or Dylan? O'Brien? O'Brien? I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I feel like they seem familiar if somebody told me what TV show they was in. I'd be like, okay, well, that TV show, or if I actually did research like I'm supposed to, bitch. Anyways, she is a Taurus and he's a Virgo. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's, go, let's see what's going on with them romantic. What's going on between these two romantic? Give us a chance for yourself. You deserve love. Children, flirt, past life relationships. Love yourself first. It's safe for you to love and attraction. So it seems like everything is pretty much going well. It's just that they have to somebody i don't know who it is somebody has to be able to actually let go and free and take that chance because right now it seems like playing is safe playing is safe and kind of side out and kind of like well i don't really want to sit here and be like yeah you my man or yeah you my woman when i really don't know if you feel the same way well it seems like you do feel the same way but i'm not really sure i don't really want to full fledged step out and then it backfires Okay, so let's see what's going on with them. What's going on between Sabrina? Matter of fact, let's see how Sabrina feels. How does Sabrina feel about Daylin? Daylin Dylan. Bitch. Oh, how does she feel about him? The star. Night of Stash in reverse, the moon in reverse, the six of staff, the paper swords, five of staff, and then we have the knight of coins and then the nine of cups. Okay, so Stash represents a fire sign, a zodiac sign, and how passionate we are, and then we also have swords representing the air sign, a zodiac sign, and how we deal with things mentally, and then we have corn representing the earth signs, a zodiac sign, and how grand we are, then we have cups representing the water sign and zodiac sign, and how we deal with our emotions. Okay, so she feels as though she knows him. She feels as though she can. This is giving me, you know how, not emotional bonding, but what is it called when two dance people get together and they. <laughs> And, and they're bonding like that. Trauma bonding. Bitch, this is, sounds like, this is, it looks like it's trauma bonding. And she feels as though she got the man. Let me tell you something. Taurus women are like niggas. If you think that it is, it looks like, if you think that, oh, well, he, how, uh, he, uh, how he get her in? No, 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 no. She pulled him. She knew what the fuck she was doing, baby. Taurus women they be know what the fuck they be doing, bitch. Okay, one of my best bitches is a Taurus. Okay, ho. And girl, who? Let me not tell my business, but bitch, <laughs> who? I seen a Taurus woman when I used to talk to this Taurus man, and this little Taurus young bitch. Well, we we pretty much the same age. Well, no, she's nineteen. I'm like close, bitch. Same way, same thing, same age, whatever. Cause it doesn't matter, bitch. I saw how that hoe. You know how you know how it be when a person could be a few months a few months younger than you or a year younger than you. You be like this young how I be doing that. I don't know why I be doing that. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, but you know them hoes ain't slick. Okay, a bitch a bitch I be seeing shit how and he I I don't even like it. she just too she too aggressive for me. I ain't even interested. yes you are bitch. You very much, you know what? Anyways, 
Taurus man be putting me through the ringer. Aquarius man put me through the ringer. Sagittarius man definitely put me through the ringer, bitch. You know what? I need be a, I need me a Libra. Because Libra man, I love me a Libra man. <laughs> Young yeah, boy. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. This seems like... It seems like she doesn't mind... It's, it seems like they bump heads on how they are both passionate in a sense. She could be passionate this way. He could be passionate that way. And sometimes it could probably rub him off the wrong way or rub her off the wrong way. But it's like, no, this is how I show affection. And he's like, no, this is how I... And it seems like they bump heads. Because, bitch, let me tell you something. If Taurus woman feel like you're trying to control her, bitch. Mm -mm. And Virgo man, bitch. I can't stand Virgo man. I cannot stand Virgo men. I can't stand Virgo men. Ever since I got two of the Virgo men, that bitch, and he was very fucking delusional. You know? <laughs> and they got smart ass mouths. Okay? Anyways, bitch. <sighs> but yeah, and that's why his dread fell out his head because he a goofy. You know what? Let me start talking about my business. <laughs> oh, whoo. Anyways, it seems like they're both trying to figure out how both each other can match well. And it seems like an opportunity was taken, was kind of like, well, let's see. And it seems like with her, she's kind of like, well, you know, how I feel about you is this kind of dirt. And she feels like being with him is like a stepping stone, if that makes sense. Kind of like maybe a guy of his caliber she's seen with him is kind of like, oh, certain doors may open. Who knows? He may have certain connections and stuff like that. And it seems like wishes are fulfilled. Like he... Girl, what you getting? Princess treatment, bitch? Okay. Mmm. I love a good princess treatment, hoe. Anyways, let's see how she feels about her. How does I know somebody in the comments going, hey, that's not how you say his name. Girl, I don't know this. I don't know him. Don't know him. Okay. I've probably seen him before in certain because his face looks so fucking familiar. But anyway, uh Daylin Dylan. <laughs> how does he feel? about Serena. We have the death card, justice, three of swords, the star, six of staffs, nine of cups, page of swords, five. <laughs> Bitch, why they pull the same cards at the bottom? Okay, so. It seems like somebody didn't use their best judgment. It seems like some, it seems like he feels like she got herself in a situation that she moved on from and he saw hope. So was she with somebody and has he been looking at her like, oh, okay. And then he saw how something didn't work out where, bitch, did he, <laughs> you know, Hollywood very small, bitch. Okay. It, it seems like. He's seen the situation play out, and then it was hope for him to come over and it seemed, bitch, or did he pull her, girl, and then she thought that she pulled him, girl. <laughs> well, it seems like both of them are on the same page to feel like, okay, I guess maybe he peeped her and he been wanting her, and it was a situation to where it's like, I finally got the girl that I pee because he looks at her like she's beautiful and I keep on seeing like a rose. I don't know. Um, and it, it seems like he's here to stay and he's going to protect her. But however, it's like, I'm going to have your back. Make sure you have mine. So maybe it's how they both defend each other and how they both, it's something how they both communicate. But as long as they're on the same page and you don't let nobody slander me and I don't let nobody slander you, then we good. As long as we stick together and we work together, then we're going to be good. You know? You go high, I go low, baby. 
It's something like that. That's what it seems. It seems like he feels as though he has to protect her. And it seems maybe he sees something in her and he's trying to pour into her. Now this can go right, this can go wrong because when a person that's damaged and you're trying to have a person that's damaged, bitch, it, it never bitch. You get drained, ho. <laughs> you get drained and it just is someone's always giving more than the other one is. So if she does this, if she does heal properly and goes on her healing journey, then everything will be okay. Because this is messy. It could have been a friend that betrayed her or she was in a relationship and it didn't go right. Maybe he got caught cheating or she got caught and he thought, bitch, it's just a whole lot. Uh, yeah. But however, how she moved on the situation, she has to, bitch, let me tell you something. She needs to be careful how she moves. Because yeah, Taurus women are very fucking forgiving, bitch. A lot of them do backpedal, I'm just saying. Not saying that others on that side don't backpedal, but Taurus women, if they fuck with you and they love you, they will give you chances. Even though it destroy, even though it will destroy them emotionally and damage them, they don't care because they fuck with you. And that and that's the scary part. Child. Well, anyways, let's see how her uh, I guess I'll pull on her career. Uh what's gonna happen with Sabrina's career? What's gonna happen with her career? Hope, passion ignited, truth, third eye, mature harvest, firm foundation, partner and alliance, okay, victory and success. The session, eight, bitch, trumpet, shock, and fear, <laughs> fertility, girl, she better be careful. But it seems like everything's gonna go well. But she has to be careful who she surrounds herself with, because not everybody's gonna be cheering for her. Some people don't feel like the only reason why she got this role, only reason why she was able to get that was because of him. But baby, tough shit, baby, work harder. <laughs> No, I'm just playing. But people are going to look at her like, oh, the reason why you got this, the reason why you got here, it's not because you're talented, it's because you're with him. Or it, bitch, is giving much, you don't deserve this. Even if she is talented and her work speaks for herself, people are going to link her with that and they're going to be envious of her because of that. Or it can be a situation to where she's off, she's working, she's getting these roles, and he feels neglected. Baby, Virgo men are hopeless romantics. And they can be very delusional. I'm just saying they can be delusional. So as long as they have an open communication to where they can have a heart-to-heart -heart communication, they can be open with each other and let each other know what's going on about this A, B, and C, as long as she keeps them in the loop and reassures them emotionally and stuff like that, then they'll be fine. All right. Thanks for watching.